YouTube rejects Atheist Republic's monetization application. So, guys, we've talked about it, you know, many times, but it comes up again and again. And it is the fact that we are fully demonetized on YouTube. And we have been for over a year now because of supposedly violating their community standards on hate speech. What did they, what did we do that was hateful? They won't tell us. Where did we violate this? They won't tell us. They just throw a vague accusation at us, you know, take away just a stream of revenue, <laughs> just rip it out from underneath us and uh, just say, go fix it. And so we've, you know, deleted hundreds of videos. We've been trying to reapply for months. And when you submit for reapplication, um, it says that it the that your um, submission will be under review and that you'll hear back from YouTube in a month. And we applied in September and we still haven't heard back. So I have been tweeting at uh, Team YouTube on Twitter and bothering them, saying, you know, talking about how unfair they've been treating us and the frustrations in working with them as a creator on this platform. And so on March 3rd, I tweeted, at Team YouTube, we have been demonetized for a year. We've reapplied for monetization in September, and we still haven't heard back. We deleted half of our library, 10 years worth of work, and still nothing from you. Why do you treat your creators like this? And then they tweeted back and being like, oh, we'll go look at this, blah, blah, blah. And then a few days later, on March 6th, they say, update, upon checking, we found out that your channel doesn't comply with our terms. As a result, you'll lose access to monetization tools and features associated with the YouTube Partner Program, which is the monetization program. Note that once you've made the changes, you can reapply in 30 days. So I was like, oh, great. I just found out that our application for monetization got rejected again for no reason. But it hasn't been rejected because if you actually well, go to the monetization, you actually see that our reapplication is still, it says under review and it says if you go actually to like you look at the channel monetization page, it says you reapplied on September 27, 2021. We will review your channel and email you with a decision typically within a month. This was in September 2021. They said it takes a month and we still haven't heard back to them. They say that this application was rejected, but you can see that it hasn't been rejected because when it gets rejected, it tells you here and it tells you when you can reapply. That hasn't happened. So this reply tweet is, they're saying this, but that's not actually what has happened. So I don't know. I think this is just a canned response. Like this is like nobody... They just copy and paste these responses. No, usually when you get canned responses, this is the first time it was different. Okay, okay. So what did you respond? Oh, so then I responded, you said the reapplication takes a month. It took almost six months. We deleted hundreds of videos because you went to tell us which videos violated your policies and how. We've been, de we've been demonetized for a year. This is insane. How did we not comply with the terms? And then they just said, go, oh, just go check out the article on our website. Go check your email for, you know, explaining what you did wrong. And the email is, you violated HSP policies. That's yeah, it. Like, so they reply, <laughs> they reply, <laughs> didn't wait. Tell didn't tell us why. <laughs> like, they, they reply, wait, we recommend checking out the article previously provided for more information about content that can be monetized on YouTube. Also learn about our monetization policies here. Guys, we have deleted you the mildest of like any any video that could potentially be hate speech uh, even though it's not because we don't do hate speech we remove them and we know how youtube can but youtube considers hate speech like we had videos of defending minorities but because we quoted other people who were against minorities uh they thought that we we're saying that and we got a strike for it and we challenged that and they were like oh that was not hate speech we had videos of us describing other people's like a, a church's conspiracy theory about the pandemic and be fighting against these conspiracy theories. And they thought that we we're spreading misinformation about the pandemic, even though it wasn't us, we were just reporting other people, report, spreading it, and we were like clearly against it. We got a strike for it and we challenged it and that strike was removed. But at least with the strikes, you know which video they have a problem with and then you could challenge that. When it comes to demonetization, they don't tell you. That's why we had to delete 
years worth of work we had to delete it off of youtube channel because we thought like if we delete all of these videos potentially it will capture the videos that they have an issue with but our reapplication hasn't has been in they haven't even processed our reapplication a reapplication that has to take they say takes a month we've been waiting for it for six months and we have been under uh, not monetized for about a year and their their responses to us goes like oh you got you have been denied even though we haven't yet been denied so because we haven't been denied we can't even reapply again like at least if we were denied then we could reapply again but now it's we're just in that limbo and we can't even reapply um and then like okay even and even when we eventually are able to reapply we don't know what to do because what are we going to do should we de delete another half of what we have up because we don't know which ones to de delete so it's like ridiculous. Like they just they just don't want us to be here because we don't know what to do. I you know it's ridiculous for our channel to be accused of hate speech because our channel is so dedicated to make sure that we don't cross the line on being anti people. Like we are a channel that is very aggressively against religion but is also very aggressively pro people and pro minorities, pro people, pro oppressed people. Like we are the we are a, the, a great channel that is an example of how to make sure that you're, if you're against Islam, you don't hate, turn that into hatred towards Muslims. And in fact, not only you don't turn that into hatred towards Muslims, you go out of your way to defend Muslims against any form of discrimination and hatred. If you're against Hinduism, how you don't turn that into hatred towards Hindus. And you go out of your way to defend Hindus and you express um, you know, you try to, you, you know, we are we are the channel that tries to be a place for people that are frustrated with religion and we provide them a place for them to be able to express that without encouraging them to turn that into haters towards any group of people. This is this is the channel that does that. If you want, if you are against hate speech against groups of people. I think nobody has done a better job at making sure that we we have a red line between between going after ideas versus going after people. This is a channel dedicated to that. And we are if we are being accused of hate speech, like what is your hate speech? Like we haven't violated any of YouTube's community guidelines. They keep like, oh, just read this article. We have read it many times. We don't but violate Daniel any Hachikiju of it. Daniel Hakikiju gets to have ads on his videos. Yeah, Daniel Hengaju, who ad publicly advocates for execution of LGBT community, um, he does he gets to have monetization, but we who we might get we might be even demonetized for simply mentioning that Daniel Hengaju advocates for the execution of LGBT people, and he has monetizations on his channel, and we don't. So, guys, if it's this so is frustrating. If, yeah, we guys we need the money. Like we have expenses, we have a lot of expenses. We can't. There's a lot of things that we can't do because of this demonetization. By the way, guys, if you want to support us because of all this demonetization, our Patreon is in the in the description. Please consider supporting us on Patreon. Link is in the description. And um, please like the video. Please share our channel so that we grow, so that we could get more people to support us. Uh, and also, please, 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 if you know anybody that has that could help us with YouTube. Uh, that has any connections or have any knowledge of what, how we deal with this demonetization, please, please, please email us your your connections or your advice to Susanna. The email is susanna at atheistrepublic.com, right? So Susanna, I think, is posting that in the live chat. And again, please support us in any way you can. Please don't support us financially if you're struggling. Please, please make sure you do not support us financially if you're struggling financially. And uh, we appreciate just the likes and shares of our videos. That's a lot of support as well. Okay. So you, yeah. So this is Susanna's email. Thank you, Susanna, for putting that there in the live chat. Susanna mm -hmm. at atheistrepublic.com. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.